In this video, I want to show the two versions of Factory Talk Optics Studio that we have available to us. One is a desktop version, and the other is a cloud based version. But before I do that, I need to talk about what are Factory Talk Optics design options. There's two options available to us the standard and the pro. And again, what Factory Talk Optics Studio is, is it's the development tool required to create a Factory Talk Optics application. So the standard version is a completely free and unlicensed version to use. But what, the, what comes with the standard version is basically the ability to only run it on your laptop or PC. So that's just a local repository available to you. And again, uh, it's a it's a version that only runs on your PC. The professional version, you could still use the studio laptop or PC version, but you can also use the cloud-based version of Studio. And that cloud-based version is inside of Factory Talk Hub. The other advantage of the Pro license is that you can you can use remote repositories such as GitHub, and in a future release, the ability to use the Factory Talk Vault to store your optics applications and then share them uh, amongst your team or other collaborators. In fact, uh, the Pro Edition can also give you the ability to, to deploy your applications from the cloud using uh, Factory Talk Remote Access. So Pro Edition gives you, uh, again, the ability to, to work anywhere, uh, cloud-based, so work anywhere, and then deploy pretty much anywhere whereas the standard license is going to be installed on your local PC and you'll need to be local to the equipment in order to deploy the application. So the pro license does come with a subscription cost, whereas the standard license is completely free. I want to show the differences there. So both, both editors are completely uh, the same as far as building and, and creating optics applications. Just again, one is cloud based. One will be run on your computer. So I want to first start by opening the my my PC version of Studio. So from some previous videos, we've seen this uh, we've seen this this display here, Factory Talk Optics Studio. Uh, when I first open it up, I have the ability to either create a new project or I can open existing projects. So down here. I just have some recent projects. Again, if I'm using the um, the free version, if I'm not a prof if not a, if I'm not a pro licensed user, then I will only be able to open from local repositories. A local repository would basically be a uh, an application that's on my PC uh, in a, in a folder with other Optics applications. If I'm a professional user, then I have the ability to open up a remote repository. So remote repositories would be things that are stored on GitHub. So in order to, to have access to GitHub, I can come up here to the settings and go to Factory Talk Optics Studio options. And under version control, I can link my GitHub account. So GitHub is cloud-based. And if you want to use the on-prem version of, of GitHub, then that's called GitLab. But I have linked uh, currently to my GitHub account where I can store my applications in, in GitHub repositories and then, and then uh, collaborate, share those, or let the uh, cloud-based version of Studio have access to these. So I'm going to open up my uh, uh, Modbus test. This is one that I've used in a previous video. And we can see here that uh, we have our COM drivers pre-built from the previous video. And then I also have some pages built. And if I were to go into the emulator, I can actually, since I'm connected to my controller, I can see that uh, my logic is running and I'm getting my Modbus updates just like I showed in a previous video. So local version, Studio, um, and then able to 
kind of test out my application with a direct connection to my controller using the emulator. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this up. So next we'll go into Factor Talk Hub. So in order for us to get to the cloud-based version of Optic Studio, we have to use Rockwell's Factor Talk Hub. It's completely free to be able to access the hub. You just need to sign in with your Rockwell account. But in order to use this cloud-based version of Optics Studio, I do have to have what's called an entitlement. So I do have to have the professional edition entitlement. So entitlements are basically like a license. Uh, it's a different terminology used in the hub. But again, for me to use the Factory Talk Optics Pro license, I would need to subscribe to this, you know, have, have a subscription license for it. That would give me an entitlement that I can link into my Factor Talk hub, and therefore I can, I can use that. So we go in the Factor Talk hub, and I'm going to uh, enter Factor Talk Optics. Now, Factor Talk Optics does require uh, that we use a, an authenticator, such as uh, Microsoft Authenticator or Google. Um, Oops, my number just changed on me. 783433 is my uh, code. So once, I'm, once I you know, initially do this, I will choose an authentication app and then link my uh, Factor Talk Hub to my authentication app. And uh, I can enter the code each time I try to log in. So when I go into Optics, uh, we have a few um, things here. We have our releases. We have our entitlements. Basically, what are we licensed for? We have a runtime sizing tool, which helps us pick how many tokens we would need if, when we want to deploy the runtime. And then we have resources, which is a place where Rockwell has placed some demo applications that we can actually uh, open and, and use and look at. Under back under releases, this is actually where I would go in order to download my um, desktop version of Studio. So I could actually come in here without any entitlements and download the desktop version of Optics Studio. But if I want to open it up in the browser, I do need to be entitled to do that again as a pro license user. So you can see we have uh, the last version I used, and then this is the latest release. So we can actually continue to use an older version, um, or we could use the latest release. Just how it happens that they're both the same. So I'm going to say continue in browser. Now, once Studio opens in the browser, it looks exactly like the Studio version that we saw initially here in, um, in, the, in the desktop version. So they're identical. We have a, the ability to create a default project or create an optics panel project. Um, I do have some uh, recent projects, but they're going to be different. The difference here is that I don't necessarily have access to my local repository, which is, again, on my uh, desktop of my computer. But what I do have access to are all of my remote repositories that are in GitHub. So the, the process would be that if I were to, uh, if I was creating my project here in, um, in the desktop version, I can, uh, once I save my project, I can push it up into, the, uh, into GitHub and uh, store it up in GitHub essentially, and then um, and then make it available to to the cloud version. So having a GitHub account is also a, a free uh, free thing to have, and then you basically would create a repository inside your GitHub account, and then uh, then you would basically say uh, uh, upload to remote repository, and that would send the Optics application up here into uh, the op into the repository you created in github and then once you're in the in the uh, optics cloud-based studio i can pull that github application essentially open it up from the remote um, you know as a remote repository from github so you can see my link here to this modbus test is uh, github.com and then my account and then the uh, the name of the project dot git so I'm going to choose that. It populates my remote URL uh, 
there in that box, and I'll say open. When I do that, I come here to my uh, to again the studio it looks just like what I was seeing here in my in my desktop studio. If I go to dashboard, I see the exact kind of thing, same thing. If I were to come to UI and then pages, pump one. Here's my pump one screen in the cloud. Again, if I come back here to my local installation here's my pump one screen right so i have these same editing capabilities that i have you know in the desktop version here in the cloud version i can click on these look at my properties assign the uh, the tags to them uh, i have my uh, over here i have my com drivers modbus the micro 820 here's all the tags same as what we had in the uh, local version of, um, of the studio project. The one difference now is that if I open up the emulator or create the emulator here in the cloud version, is that it's not going to be connected to my actual controller. So my controller is, is tied to my PC over ethernet, but you can see these red X's are basically indications that there is no connection to these, uh, these tags aren't seeing a connection right now. Even though these are tied to um, tags in the controller, being that they're switches, they don't show red X's, where these were indications kind of showing and you know, reading the value from the controller. So they're showing it's not available. So at the, in, in the current configuration, I can't connect to the live controller here in the cloud version, but I can still run my emulator and look at the various screens that I've created. Whereas when I was back in my local version of Studio, I can fire up my emulator and I do have access to live data since I am connected directly to the controller. So if I were to actually um, you know, make changes here in the cloud-based version, I can then save them in send them or the terminology is push the remote um, i said upload to remote earlier but basically push the remote so i can make these changes i can save and commit them and i can push them to the remote repository and then that's one way that we can use to kind of collaborate you know amongst various team members is each of us who have access to those uh, github repositories we can download them use them change them and then push them back up into the repository when we're done so um, again, if we're going to use just a standard version of Factor Talk Optic Studio, um, again, unlicensed, totally free. Uh, limitation is that we don't have the ability to do um, collaboration and that we can't send our, you know, we can't link to the remote repositories that are inside of GitHub. I can always go to GitHub and download the repository and then open that downloaded version of the repository in my offline, you know, or in my uh, regular version of Optic Studio. So I can still use GitHub, I can still collaborate. I just don't have it built in to Studio, uh, Optic Studio, like we do when we have the professional um, license. Uh, if I wanna use the cloud-based version, then the advantage here is that I don't have to have any version of uh, any software installed on my computer. I can go to FactorTalk Hub, I can log into Optics and go into Optic Studio, and I can completely work uh, all in the cloud just as if I was using the, um, the, the desktop version of Studio. So pretty nice, it gives us the ability to log in on any computer, anywhere, as long as we have an internet connection, we can get into Studio, we can look at our um, projects that we had stored in our remote repositories, such as GitHub, and then still work and collaborate, even though we may not be tied back to our, our normal desktop computer. So lots of flexibility with the Pro license.